Now, after a week of violent protests in Peru triggered by the ouster of former President Pedro Castillo, Peru's defense minister has announced a nationwide state of emergency. This will allow soldiers to assist police in maintaining public safety. Here's a report for more details. After a week of violent protests following the ouster of former President Pedro Castillo, Peru's defense minister on Wednesday announced a nationwide state of emergency. The 30-day declaration grants new powers to the military, allowing soldiers to assist police, and could mean the suspension of certain freedoms, including the right to assembly. The mass demonstrations erupted after Castillo was impeached on December 7th and arrested after illegally trying to dissolve the Andean nation's Congress. He was charged with rebellion and conspiracy, and Castillo's former vice president, Dina Boluarte, was sworn into office. Protesters have blockaded highways, set fires to buildings, and invaded airports. According to authorities, six people have died in clashes with the police. Meanwhile, prosecutors said they were seeking 18 months of pretrial detention for Castillo. Peru's Supreme Court met to consider the request, but later suspended the session until Thursday. Supporters say Castillo is being mistreated. Pedro Castillo should have been released today. Today marks the seventh day of his preliminary detention. He should have been released at 1.30 p.m., but yesterday at midnight, the prosecutor asked for 18 months of preliminary prison for Castillo. Right now, the president has no lawyers. We need international help, please. Boluarte, speaking to reporters from the presidential palace, called for peace and said, quote, we can't have dialogue if there's violence between us adding that elections could be moved forward to December 2023 from April 2024, a date she had pledged earlier. The vote is currently slated for 2026 when Castillo's term would have ended. Castillo has gained support from fellow regional leftist leaders, including Mexican President Andres Manuel López Obrador, who criticized his removal as undemocratic. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.